Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Brothers and sisters in faith Barakallahu feekum We're back at it again And I am full of excitement and anticipation To what we will be sharing with each other today Insha'Allah ta'ala um, This time I will fulfill a promise I previously made About addressing the rather controversial uh, meeting that occurred uh, between uh, Brother Ihsan Arshad and uh, Maturidi Maulana Abdul uh, Halim. And from the outset, I would like to make it very clear that I've come across many uh, people in my life, many different characters, many different demeanors and behaviors, but I have... I am yet to come across individuals that are as dubious, awkward, strange, and sad as those brothers. Those Diobandis, may Allah rectify our condition and theirs, continue to dig deep graves for themselves from which they will not be able to come out. They will not be able to exit. They will not be able to find their way back to the surface of the earth. Either they are on some spaceship or an, on a different planet uh, as aliens, as I mentioned in one of the tweets. They're like aliens who are foreign and uh, to us and strange in their behavior. And they're just visiting earth uh, or they go on to dig for themselves somewhere beneath the earth. Because if you add all the uh, pieces together, you will not get a puzzle. You will, not get a, you will not get a full picture. You will get a worse puzzle than the one you would usually have when you get the box. And you know how all the pieces are scattered. With them, after you put, the, you put the pieces together, you will end up with a worse puzzle than the original form it, it came in. All scattered pieces. It's because things just don't add up. So, let's go through this video together and see the level of deceit, the level of lies, and how these brothers, once they knew that this video would come out, proceeded to make a preemptive strike and mock the brother, which I've addressed in the other video, uh, and try to save face by uh, making it seem like he was the, the guilty uh, culprit and they were the innocent victims. But when you see this video, you're going to have a quick change of heart, inshallah ta'ala. So without any further ado, let's get right in. Uh, buckle up. Here we go. From the start of the book to the end, the Sheikh has mentioned principles in between. So obviously, if you don't read one section without principles, obviously, the dodging of the children, you probably come to it. That's anthropomorphism. But when Sheikh Rukhami mentions certain sifat, he said, look, we believe in the sifat, but not... With so just a quick context, the brothers discussing with him some of their videos on their All Islam production channel in, uh, uh, in which they uh, criticize the mashayikh and the ulama and they've cursed them out and, and humiliated them and uh, among other English speaking du'at. Yeah, we could understand if they're going to make fun of me or Shamsi or, or Tim Humble. That's, that's expected. But when they, when they deal with the heavyweights, when they deal with the heavyweights, then, you know, you got to be a little bit more careful, right? So the context is them making fun of taking the videos and statements of theirs out of context and making it seem like the Salafis uh, are promoting an anthropomorphic belief about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is clearly not the case. There should be not how humans hear or see, or not how human hands are, but we are human, as the Quran says. So, I mean, there's many false in the Salaf as well, mm -hmm. but I think what people, they don't like is when you quote one or two passages, but then not the full context. Because obviously, when you read a book from the start to end, yeah, it explains yeah. it. Yeah. So, there's some pride and stuff that's built up. So fair point, you need to read a book from, from beginning to end to understand the principles that are usually laid down in the beginning of the book. So for example, if you go through my playlist of Al-Aqid al wasitiya which I really recommend that you do, especially my Diobandi brothers and sisters, the Diobandis who actually follow these individuals, and I don't know why I had to pause on a, on a picture of a bunch of toes in a slippers, that is not the ideal image I would like to see during my day. 
But that's besides the point. I would really recommend for my brothers and sisters to watch actually the playlist where we uh, deal with the Aqid of Al-Sunnah wal Jama'ah, but it's always after having dealt with the principles. Meaning the Shaykh will first establish that uh, the acts, the attributes of affirmation uh, and negation, al-ithbat wa nafi we will address the principle of laysa kamithlihi shay. There's nothing like Allah. Then we will discuss how we negate likening Allah to His creation, negate resembling Allah to His creation, negate uh, uh, likening Allah to His creation, um, that we don't distort the meaning. After all these principles are understood, then we go about looking at the various names and attributes of Allah. If you don't do the homework, if you don't build the proper infrastructure, then you can easily be mis uh, confused or misinformed about what Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah actually believe regarding the names and attributes of Allah. So when we say we accept the apparentness and the apparent meaning, if you haven't learned the foundation, then you could easily think that we're trying, we are likening Allah to His creation when we will never do that. Because that's one of the, our principles, is never to liken Allah to His creation. You understand what I'm saying? So it's very critical that we understand this because these brothers, as you will see, they never even read those books from cover to cover. They take out a little piece and they refute it without ilm, without knowledge. So if you take just one page, you know, like some people, some colleagues, they might take from the Vala Mal or somewhere, yeah. one page and be like, oh, this yeah. is wrong. Yeah, but no, then like, you'll yeah. say, but yeah. it says this beforehand. Yeah. So, so our whole thing is when you quote, like quote, quote with the honesty or like yeah. at least quote with the full picture in mind. Look how well-mannered this brother is. He's telling him nicely, just when you want to quote something, quote it in the right context so that it, it that doesn't confuse and it doesn't deceive the, the audience and the listeners and the viewers. What we're actually saying because it's, you know, it's very easy to straw man. How many people as well, you know, they don't understand the... Look, Mawlana, I'm just going to make it very simple for you, yeah? You got to love the fact that the Mawlana addresses other people as Mawlana as well. So I don't know if this is the norm for all Diobandi. So they go around calling everybody Mawlana because, you know, in the Arab world, we call everybody Sheikh, including the cat down the street, as I've said in the past. So uh, uh, the Diobandi style is Mawlana. So the, shay the cat is Mawlana. Mawlana cat, come over here. Mawlana, uh, you know, frog. Or how does, how does that work? So the Mawlana term is used loosely. You guys tell me because I love to hear your feedback. Is the term Mawlana used loosely with every Tom, Dick and Harry in the masjid? Or this is like restricted to the uh, highly qualified elite scholars alhamdulillah you're, you look like a very very honest guy yeah you look like a very honest guy but you're probably not that's what he's thinking no 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 what i want to assume that okay alhamdulillah see i wish he maintained that beautiful uh, uh demeanor and behavior and the video they made where they called him pathetic loser and miserable loser and you know he put his tail between his legs and ran away and he lost his uh, pacifier and all the other stuff that they said but look at the double standards two, they talk you talk about two faced this at least i'm consistent this is one face in front of the brother and another one when he's not in front of them where they will mop the floor with him alhamdulillah has made those videos as i've made those videos in it mm -hmm. I even said, uh, I think, do you know Brother Farid? Uh, Bahraini. Yeah, yeah, Jiji. Bahraini. Yeah. Jiji. He's speaking about Farid's response, the brother from Bahrain. Ba Barakallahu fi. He pointed a point out to me. He pointed a point out to me. I love that. He pointed a point out to me. My English is not native, so I'm not in a position to be calling out these ones. But if they're funny, even against me, you, you can make fun of me. I mean, I've, I've, I've made some blunders in the English language. And when people call me out, I have a good laugh along with them. Because I, I know it's not my native language. It's all good. He pointed out a point out for me. MashaAllah. He pointed a point out to me. He said to me. He pointed a point out for me. Again, you have to repeat it in order. Just in case you missed the first mistake, then the second time around, you'll get it. Mo Molana, look, you're wrong here. Yeah. I was not afraid to come out and say I was wrong. MashaAllah. He told him he was wrong. He wasn't afraid to tell that he was wrong. That was like a one, once in a lifetime thing. You couldn't do that again because you're going to be called out for being wrong many times in this video and you're not going to do anything about it. And I'm not. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Yeah, yeah. If you look... So make you're open to correction. Yeah. If you, yeah. Or if you make a decent video mm -hmm. explaining in a nice manner... You know? He wants a decent video in a nice manner. Tabiakhi, why don't you take your own advice, ya Maulana, number one? And why don't you make a decent video in a good manner? Have you tried doing that? Have you seen your videos in the level of mockery against the people of knowledge and the scholars and the du'at and the tulab al-ilm? You haven't? Oh, 
I love it how you demand what you yourself don't adhere to. You want from others to do what you yourself cannot fulfill. MashaAllah. You know how we've done it? See, look, yesterday, uh, somebody sent me a video. Allah mm. brother. So, sorry, today. Sorry, one second. Can I just... I think that he was, I have a feeling he was about to speak about me, but then this brother, subhanAllah, interrupted. It's okay. I will come. My turn will come, inshallah. Interrupt. Yeah. Why do we need to make a video from the books of the Salaf are clear? When it comes to the Aqeedah, yeah. the, uh, when it comes to the Aqeedah of the Salaf. Can I just, can I just sure, talk? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Right. <laughs> so look. Rejected. What was I saying? Okay. So brother, uh, we mocked Abu Lais. I don't know. Uh, okay, anyways. Mm -hmm. We mocked Abu Lais, yeah? Why? Because we believed him to be a murtad. And that was... They mocked Abu Lais because they believe he's a murtad. So, so you only mock the people who you believe are murtad. So I am a murtad. Brother Ihsan is a murtad. Brother Shamsi is a murtad. Tim Humble is a murtad. Abdurrahman Hassan is a murtad. We're all murtad. Because if your criteria for mocking is a person being murtad, then you have mocked all of us. Or you're just bluffing and lying, which is your standard procedure. He was doing that. But we haven't mocked you lot. We haven't mocked you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You, did not, you didn't mock him? You didn't leave anything in him that you didn't mock. Allah yahdeek. Ya akhi, lying is haram. Ya maulana, wallah. How do you stand there and lie in front of the people, ya akhi? But you have certainly straw man in that position. And okay. made it as if you're like majestic. Take it, take it, take it. Take it. Take it. Wrong, oh, but that's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. Do you understand? Well, it's the right. reaction, yeah. Okay, take it. I'm not going to argue. I've got to go. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So I was saying but that, That's what I meant Can I not sit with you And Malan Osman And we can go through this Like if I was to come Next time with you And yeah. Malan Osman With everything you've Let said me, And I can explain it look, to you guys Malan, I'm going to be very honest with Rather you Rather than make me make a video Because this, the, day, the best way Is this to speak really isn't it? Did you say your name was Ihsan Abu Abdullah Ihsan yeah. Abu Abdullah Ihsan yeah. Okay The other day Our the, the, the brothers stopped Are these brothers with you? Uh, they come with me, yeah, they're from... Uh, okay, take from it. Stuff, okay, you know, it's my father's going to be coming, so if take we it. just ask these guys to just... Uh, yeah, take it. Because what I don't want him to think, that's do you know what I mean? No, yeah. no, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. A brother came the other day. He right. mentioned me to you. Yeah, he mentioned yeah. me, right. So, uh, he, obviously, he was on the road, I was on the road, I was in Janda. Yeah. You probably realize our videos have stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, Their videos have stopped? Have they stopped? I see you uploading videos regularly. Have you realized our videos have stopped? No, I don't really realize. Okay. <laughs> so our videos, it's yeah. been about two, two and a half weeks, three weeks. It's been about two and a half weeks. It's been because our videos have stopped. Mm -hmm. Two and a half weeks. Somebody will think they stopped for two and a half years. Two and a half weeks. Okay, so? Because I've just taken on <coughs> a huge project, half a million pound project. Yeah. yeah. So our video... Half a million pound project. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. What y'all doing with the money and where does this money go? Why would anyone put a half, half a million pound in your hand in the first place? I heard that y'all trying to collect money to build a masjid. Musiba wallah. Wallahi, y'all don't deserve a, a, a half a pound, a quarter of a pound. I hope nobody donates money so that you can establish another institute of deviance and misguidance and confuse the Muslims further. Videos, my mutala, everything just stop. What I am going to do, inshallah, let me get in contact with Maulana. Again, Maulana. It's just Maulana for everybody. Okay, and let me ask him if he's got time because at the moment, uh, yeah. I, said to him, I said, look, you can see I'm standing in the middle of a road yeah. with a bucket in my hand and I'm telling you, I've got a huge project on. I've just taken it on. Six weeks ago when I was absolutely free, nobody was saying anything then. Yeah. I, I called you two months yeah. ago. <laughs> no, but that was, no, and you said I, that you don't... In your face, he said six weeks ago when I had nothing to do, no one was there. He told them, I called you two months ago, uh, which is technically yeah, the, around six weeks, right? Six weeks, mo a month and a half ago. Uh, so that was that was an immediate, quick, alert response from uh, Brother Ihsan. You don't have time back no, then as well. No, so. no. Uh, was, I didn't say I didn't have time, my brother. Really I did. said to you, you I said, said, is this some time to ring? What time did you ring me? Tell me. It was like ten o'clock. No, yeah, it wasn't ten o'clock. Yeah, yeah, I got the call. Was I I, I, he ha he t uh, supposedly it was he called him at a too late or at the wrong time. He told him I have the evidence, the call log that I called you at ten o'clock. He tells him no. I've got the logging. You the, look at it. Yeah. You look but at you it. Said like, you said you said you have madrasa and then you have uh, madrasa and, and stuff. stuff. And, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I said to I said, well, look, brother. So basically, he told him that he was busy with madrasa, and now he's claiming that the only thing he told him that he, he called too late. Astaghfirullah. Yeah. Is this some time to call? That, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. If you said to me, look, let's organize a meeting. That was our holidays. Mm -hmm. You know, all those videos that were coming mm -hmm. out, they were our holidays. Yeah, two months ago, I said, is yeah. any time I can during their holidays, they make videos mocking uh, uh, the uh, the salaf. And the Salafis, mashallah, what a, what a hobby 
and what a great time to spend your holiday. Come to your mask and you said, no, you don't have time at all. Uh, I remember you saying that. No, 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 I couldn't have said that. Uh, I couldn't have said that. He said, he, like, the brother's given him evidence. I've come to your mask and told you and you said that you're busy. He said, I couldn't have said that. Imagine. And now he's going to tell him the whole time that he's busy. Then he says, I couldn't have said that. Right. Anyway, okay. But okay, now that I'm here, yeah. right. let me speak to Molana. Uh, let me speak to Molana. And inshallah, if we can sort our, sort our time, as time out, yeah. inshallah, we'll sit down today. Mind you, mind you, they kept saying that the brother ran away from a debate and the brother chickened out and the brother is a loser and the brother is, a, he should have walked with a plaque of L on his, on his forehead. And this is the brother that you will see who does not have any knowledge to address any issue on uh, uh, impromptu. And you could see throughout the video that he has absolutely zero qualification to address any academic discussion. That's why he needs to resort and seek the help of his duel, his uh, uh, buddy, as somebody said, they like the Beavis and Butthead of the, uh, of the da'wah. He needs to refer to his buddy to be with him so they could do all their homework and the preparation and the research and get their books because this ignoramus does not have any knowledge at where he's standing in his empty head to be able to give him any answers. So they claim that he ran away from the debate when he saw that he was going to deal with someone this ignorant. Of course, you wouldn't want to waste your time and debate them. And now look who's running away. Look who's running away. He's running away. He can't deal with them right now. He needs to speak to Maulana Osman. And make sure Maulana Osman is ready and available so they can deal with him. So if, no problem, inshallah. So if, inshallah, we'll obviously when we explain everything, yeah. would you then take back what you said in the video? Would you take them down? Well, if, well, them? If, you're no. if, yes. if you're satisfied with if, the answer. Inshallah, yeah. Why not? Exactly. Why not? Okay. But like I said, then you're going to have to answer our ishqal. Of course. Of course. If, yeah. if, That's why I come here. No, look. Look. If you've presented something and I don't agree with it, yeah. then you can't just start asking me, look, we've explained it to you. Yeah. If I don't agree with it, I'm not going to agree you with it. You yeah, but if you don't agree with it, what is it? Is it an arbitrary, uh, arbitrary issue? Arbitrary? Is it? Is it depending on on your preference? You don't agree with it. You have to agree with the Quran and Sunnah. You don't have a choice to go against the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Sahaba. You have no choice. So what is this? You're leaving it up to your desires whether you agree or you're not. I disagree with it because it'll be the book from yeah, the Salaf. Exactly. Yeah. Don't worry. It'll be the book from the Salaf. You Many have told me before that, my brother. Many no, no. have said that before. But Many have said that before and you've rejected all them. Why? Because you're a follower of desires. Because you are a follower of desires. أَفَرَأَيْتَ مَنَ اتَّخَذَ إِلَاهَهُ هَوَى وَأَضَلَّهُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمِ Have you seen the one who has taken his, uh, his desires as his God? And Allah has led him astray in spite of their knowledge? You are a classic example. You are a manifestation of that in human form. Of course, you're not going to accept it. But just do you understand? Curiosity, many, uh, many, look, no, no, no. Many, which, which, book, which books of the Salaf do you like to refer to? Apart from Tahawi, of course. Like, which books of the Salaf do you like take Aqidah from? Here, look, look, look at the look at the face now. He's like, why are you asking me these difficult questions that I don't know how to answer? Which book books of the Salaf do you take from besides Tahawiya? Because all they have is the Aqidah Tahawiya. They always they get a, a, a quote, this one or two statements of the Imam to substantiate their entire belief system. Taken beyond Imam Tahawi, before Imam Tahawi, huh? And then let's see what kind of answer we're going to get. Tahawiya, apart from that. Ah, <laughs> he said, what books of the Salaf do you take from besides Tahawiyyah? He tells him, Tahawiyyah. No, no, we got to hear this again. La, la, la. But just, do you uh, understand? Many, uh, many, many, look, la, 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 la. Which, which, which books of the Salaf do you like to refer to? Apart from Tahawiyyah, of course. Like, which books of the Salaf do you like take Aqidah from? Tahawiyyah. Besides Tahawiyyah, which books of the Salaf do you take Aqidah from? He tells him, Tahawiyyah. Brothers, do you see what a muflis, what a bankrupt individual this person is have you ever seen a bigger liar have you ever seen bigger hypocrisy and bigger this bigger deceit this 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 individual has the audacity to sit behind a, a, a monitor and a camera and a microphone that was still with a cameraman and rant for hours and speak against the ulama while he can even what well, he doesn't even know a single book from the books of the salaf be, before at-tahawiyyah and can't even answer a basic question. Apart from that. Because obviously there's more than that, obviously, isn't there? It's not just the how you wrote. Look, look, look. You're not going to take from Wasitiyah. No, 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 no. Wasitiyah later, but like, Usul al-Sunnah ya Ahmad, Shara Rasul al-Iqad al-Sunnah ba'la alayhi. The brothers now is, is, is educating him about what options yani he's he's making it easy for him when you give somebody a, a, for example you tell a child look what's uh, what's two plus two and he's completely clueless then the next thing you move on to is multiple choice okay two plus two is it three is it four is it five or six to make it easy for him just so he could so now the brother's basically 
helping him cheat by giving him examples of books that are aqidah based so that the brother can give him an answer about anything besides the hawiyah. This, this is how much easier he's making it for him. Al-Khalal, Abdullah, the son of Imam Ahmed, wrote a sunnah. What about these books? Like, we don't see you guys quoting from these books. Why? Because some of those book, books, we don't believe that their nisbah to them is correct. It is proven, it's proven but by all the Ahmed al Islam. Look at this, look at the Akhi Uqsum, the, 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 the shame. We don't believe that. Look, look at this very generic, general answer that doesn't address the issue. We don't believe that some of these books are rightfully attributed to the uh, to the authors. So, because he found one book which may be questionable, he's going to dismiss all the list of books that were given to him. So, it rejects all of the books because some or one of them might not be uh, uh, really authored by the person that it claimed the author. Uh, they claim the author to be. Allahu Akbar. Inshallah, no, then we're going to discuss this in it. But then even like we want to discuss it in a meaning. I, right now, I'm too ignorant. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I can't help you right now. Like the, the Dhu, for example, uh, Tirmidhi rahimullah clearly says in the, yeah. Allah's above the arsh, you know, in, in his sunan, look, jami. Look, like I said. Tirmidhi clearly states in his jami as sahih that Allah Azza wa Jal is above the arsh. I'm going to have to fast forward this because it's taken too long. And we're going to see again. Look at this. Like, inshallah, when we sit down, inshallah, because look, if I say one thing, you're going to say another. If I say one thing, you're going to say another. If I... How do you run away from uh, an academic discussion by saying later, inshallah, because if I say one thing, you're going to say another. If I say one thing, you're going to say another. <laughs> so if basically, if I have a meeting with my boss and he wants to give me a direction, I tell him, listen, yeah, there's no point having this meeting because you're going to say one thing, I'm going to say another. You're going to say one thing, I'm going to say another. And yeah, let's not do it at all. Why get married, right? Why are you married, ya Mawlana? Because when you have a wife, you're going to say one thing, she's going to say another, you're going to say one thing, she's going to say another, you're going to say one thing, she's going to say another. Why have children? Because when you have children, you're going to one say, they're going to say another, you're going to say one thing, you're going to say another. So there's no point in education, there's no point in joining the good, forbidden, evil, there's no point in getting married, there's no point in getting a job. Because the yeah, ta'ban, everything in life is really about you saying something and someone saying something, you saying something and someone saying something. What does that mean? What kind of what kind of what kind of nonsensical response is this? Meaning, when I give you evidence, I'm gonna reply with falsehood. Then you're gonna give me clear evidence. I'm gonna reply with falsehood. Then you're gonna give me haq, and I'm gonna give you batil, and uh, it's gonna be haq and batil. Uh, khalas. Let's not do it, at, and let's not do it at all in the first place. Wow. Let's but we both can agree upon these books. Yeah. Uh, for example, the six books of the hadith. Yes, we can sit there and take our look, if you have got He wants to agree at least on the six books of hadith. Listen to this now. If you have got aqwal and you can prove them qat'iyu dalalat, qat'iyu subut. If you have aqwal and you can prove them qat'iyu dalalat, qat'iyu subut. Qat'iyu dalalat meaning the evidence, it is absolute. Uh, 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 and the, the evidence in itself is authentic 100% and it is 100% applicable to the subject matter. Meaning the hadith is sahih and the hadith is exactly in reference to the subject matter. Right, because you have to remember, you don't take khabri wa'i for we don't take khabri wa'i for akidah. Yeah, that's what I'm you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so our usul are different. So don't just give me a book. A book doesn't mean anything. Like I said, it has to be qat'iyu dalalat, it has to be qat'iyu subut. When it's like this, then we'll take them inshallah. Look at this. So you cannot just give me a book. Yani basically, what do you, what do you want? Qat'iyu dalil, qat'iyu dalala. Ya kadhab. Ya kadhab, the hadith is sahih muslim. The hadith of the slave girl, Sahih Muslim, when she was asked, Ain Allah, Ain Allah, and she pointed with her finger to the heavens. And the hadith, Prophet, the authentic hadith on Hajjat al Wada and Hajjat al Wada and his farewell pilgrimage, after he spoke to the people, and then he said, He looked at the people, Allah al Balak, did I not convey Kalu Bala Kala, Allahumma Fashad, Allahumma Fashad, Allahumma Fashad, three times. And you will see this guy pointing to the sky when he speaks about Allah himself. Yani, and, and, Zainab telling the wives of Prophet Sallallahu that all of you were given in marriage by, uh, to the Prophet Sallallahu by your parents. As for me, Allah gave me in marriage from above the seven heavens. Min fawqi sab'i samawat. And I can go on giving you evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah until tomorrow about the fact that Allah Azza wa Jal is above the throne, above the heavens in a manner which befits His Majesty. And you reject the Quran and the Sunnah. And you think that a book is going to do the, word, the job with you? Of course you're a follower of desire. No book is going to do the job, including the book of Allah. You understand what I'm saying here? Huh? As, long, as long as those aqwal go in accordance to complete things and we don't do any ta'wil of those or we don't give them a different meaning, if you're going to bring me a call, if you're going to bring me a call and you're giving me one meaning of the call and I'm giving you another meaning of the call, then Mawlana, you can't expect me to just start taking it back, can you? Aha, uh -huh. look at this, look at this. Look at these false principles. If, if you give me a call and you give me a meaning, and I give you a meaning. So you give a qawl and the apparent meaning of the qawl you give me. And I'm going to reject it and give you another meaning that the, the, the actual 
قول does not carry. The قول does not entertain. So basically he's laying the foundation for him to reject the clear-cut evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah in order to maintain and persist upon his deviance. And he's saying, you expect me to change? Of course I'm not going to change. Of course you're not going to change. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We never give up a call. I'm not saying your call. I'm not saying your call. Are you alim? No, no, no. Have you studied? Like, for example, Mawlana. That's I mean, irrelevant. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait. I'm telling you, you must have a position. Brother, brother, no, no, look. My, my, if you haven't studied, please don't talk. Uh, let me talk. Like, for okay. example, Mawlana. Like, he studied. He's wow. So, how does he, how does he now uh, uh, straw man and avoid, uh, throw another red herring that he said, basically, he said, brother, who are you? Have you studied? If you haven't studied, don't speak. Even though all the brother told him was, Qala Allah wa Qala Rasul, alayhi salam. And he was just trying to tell him that all we're going to tell you is from the Quran and the Sunnah. Now, how do you avoid someone uh, advising you and confront of you and educating you by merely saying that you're not, you're not educated enough? You don't have the proper education, therefore I'm not going to speak to you. If that's not arrogance and belittlement of others, then I don't know what is. And, and honestly, that is just disgusting, Wallah. Saying history, yeah. if you haven't started, then both things. Because I'm mentioning a simple thing and you're misunderstanding what I'm saying to you. Yeah. Okay. Wow, he's mentioning a simple thing and he's misunderstanding. You don't realize, Inta, that you don't have enough intellect to say anything that makes sense to anyone except the sheep that follow you. That's the problem. Listen, so, yeah. I'm saying to you, we're talking about ma'ani, we're not, not talking about akhwal. Okay. Do you understand? So if you give me... Listen, to, this, is the, this is the deception. We're talking about ma'ani and we're not talking about akhwal. Meaning the qawl could be that Allah Azza wa Jal will say, for example... وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ يَدُ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولَ And the Jews say that the hand of Allah Azza wa Jal is, is, is tight. غُلَّتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ Allah Azza wa Jal made dua. Allah, 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 Allah didn't make dua. Allah Azza wa Jal said that their hands are uh, uh, tightened up. They were cursed for what they said. بَلْ يَدَنْ Allah went on to say بَلْ يَدَاهُ مَبْسُوطَةً Rather both of his hands are stretched out. Let me repeat that so that there will be no mistake. وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ يَدُ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولَةً The Jews say that the hand of Allah Azza wa Jal is tight. Meaning Allah Azza wa Jal does not spend. غُلَّتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ Allah Azza wa Jal said that their hands are the ones that are tight. بَلْ يَدَاهُ مَبْسُوطَةً Rather both of his hands are stretched out. So this is for example a قول. What he's saying that when you bring me a qawl with an apparent meaning, I have a ma'na other than the ma'na that you're bringing. Therefore, I'm going to reject the ma'na that is apparent from the Qur'an. And according to this principle, anything you tell me which is aqwal from the Qur'an and the sunnah, I have now uh, a precedence. I have, a, uh, I have a, a foundation upon which I can reject everything that you can tell me about the Qur'an and the sunnah. Why? Because I accept a ma'na other than the apparent ma'na. Of course, the easy refutation to this is this ma'na that you're rejecting was it insinuated by any one of the sahaba meaning did any one of the sahaba have a problem with the initial ma'na that the arabs understood from this qawl for you to come up with an alternative no they you don't have any reference from any sahabi therefore you're denying the ma'na which is understood from the arabic language especially when allah says quranun mubin that this Qur'an is clear. This Qur'an is a clarifier. This Qur'an will guide you to that which is more straight. This Qur'an is the ultimate guide. Hudan lil mu'mineen. It is guidance for the believers. So you're saying that the Qur'an was ambiguous. The Qur'an was unclear. This Qur'an, there's rayba fi. Allah says, ذلك الكتاب لا رايب في. This book, there's no doubt in it. And you're saying that there's doubt in it. Because the apparent meaning that the Arabs understood is not the actual meaning. And there's another meaning that came hundreds of years after the Sahaba. Ya Sheikh. Give me one call. Your ma'ana from that call is different. My ma'ana from that call is different. You can't expect me to take that. But we can agree on the, what everyone. Like for example, let me give you an example. Very quick one. Wa ilm Allahi wa qudratuhu wa sultanuhu fi kulli makan. Tell me the saying. Right. The qudra, the, the, the power of Allah right. and his knowledge is in every place. We can understand what that means. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, we know what that means. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wa huwa and he. Look, he now this is a silencing refutation. He's showing him from Tirmidhi, right? The clear evidence that Allah Azza wa Jal knows everything and Allah Azza wa Jal is above the throne. Again, see Allahu Akbar, Haram, Haram and Aib. 
you give me one qawl. Now this is a qawl. He's going to give you a meaning that is not even entertained in the qawl. Just to reject the original meaning. It's not the meaning. Why not? Let me give you my meaning. Bismillah. Okay. Bismillah. Look what he says. Yeah. And he is above the throne. He is above the throne as he described himself in his book. As he described himself in his book. I'm giving you the exact word for word verbatim translation. Okay? Listen to how he's going to weasel his way out from this one. These videos were uh, out of respect for the brother's uh, family, unlike other, unlike them, out of respect for the family and for his father. The brothers actually edited this video only, only regarding the parts that have to do with his family being involved in things that he said that were personal that they didn't want to keep on the video. But this, this uh, liar came later on and the video said that they edited the video to make it seem like he was saying something else uh, or that the video was edited in their favor. Another lie and another slander from this guy who nothing is shocking to me anymore actually. After seeing all this, nothing shocks me anymore. This is your many different projects. How has he done wasf? How has he done tawsif? How has Allah described himself? Have you checked that? I looked up the word tawsif, by the way. I couldn't find uh, the, the proper Arabic usage of the, for the word tawsif in that context. The word tawsif in this context has a different meaning. As for wasf, that is correct. This is what I'm saying to you. you know, Rahman, look, he's saying Kama okay. Wasafa. Yeah. Kama Wasafa, how did he do Wasafa? How did he do Tawseef with those Alphas? Ar Rahman, Al Arshis. So, what do we do? So, what does that mean to you? What does Ar Rahman, Al Arshis mean to you? What does Allah, the, the most merciful, rose over the throne mean to you? Listen to this now. Now, the meaning. Has he talked about the meaning? Yes. No, he hasn't yes, talked yes, about yes. the meaning. Look, 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 look at this. 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 Look at the, uh, how does he uh, uh, dodge all these questions and he cannot answer. Look at the lies, look at the deviance in these people. Wallahi, they're shameful. Uqsum billah, shameful. Allah yahdik ya Mawlana Abdul Halim. No, this is, this is Arabic. Yeah. When, when someone says, yeah. What does istiwa mean in this context? No. Yes. This is the no. See, this is the Arabic language. This is what the word istiwa means. It's not up to you, Yani. It is not up to you to change the meaning of the Arabic words. Words have meanings. Words have meanings. Uh, they have etymology. And you have to maintain the meanings of the words. You cannot give them a meaning other than what is intended according to your own desires. Why we're baffled? Because all the, it's only the Ashara Maturidi and others who took from it, Al Istila or Istola. That's not what the Arabic language is saying. Istola al Arsh. It can only mean Al Tifa. He hasn't said that, has he? But he has not. That's what he hasn't that's what it means. Because he said, Kama, what's up, Ramadan? No, wait a second. If you look at the whole Kalam, yeah. the Qudra of Allah, and the Ilm of Allah, it is Shafat. The Ilm of Allah is in yeah. every place. Yeah. So he's talking about Am Kilam, Makan, places. But then he says, Wa huwa ala al Arsh, Kama, what's up, Fi Kitab. If the meaning was metaphorical, the whole Jumla. I'm, 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 I'm not saying it's metaphorical. So, so you, you believe Mistiwa is an actual action of Allah? That he rose over the throne? Wanna we take those Alphas, Ar Rahmanu, ala al and we stop there. What did it mean though? What does that mean? Oh, we just we take the word, but it has no meaning. What? Yani, this is basically attributing uh, attributing al abath to Allah subhanahu wa taala, attributing uh, fooling around and playing around to Allah astaghfirullah al azim, which which is kufr, saying that the Allah azza wa jal says this in the Quran that are of no substance, of no value, of no benefit, just any kalam, just any speech, just for the sake of saying it. How could it? Not, how could there be no ma'na? How could there be no manner behind those words? We just take the alfad, we take the terms, we take the terminology, but we don't, we don't attribute any meaning to them. But that's it. You haven't got the meaning from the Quran. I haven't got the meaning from the Quran. There is meaning. No. There is a, if you said there's no Quran. meaning, they haven't. They have another meaning from the Quran. Where's the meaning from the Quran? That means that it's abbas. It doesn't mean anything. No, no, no. I'm not saying there is a meaning. I'm saying that you don't know the meaning. Yes. We don't know the meaning. This is why we do tafsir. Yeah. Tafsir. We leave the meaning. There is a meaning. But we leave the meaning to Allah. So we, there's a meaning, but we leave the meaning to Allah. Basically, there's no meaning to you. Meaning, there's no meaning. Because Allah revealed the Quran not for Allah Azza wa Jal to know what the Quran is. Allah revealed the Quran for you to know what the Quran is. Allah revealed the Quran as guidance for you, not as guidance for Himself Subhanahu wa Taala. So how could you say that Allah revealed the Quran to guide us, and then you say we refer the matter back to Allah? Allah knows the meaning. We don't know the meaning. Meaning now you're saying that there's no objective behind behind the revelation of the Quran, and we're talking about a subject that appeared seven times in the Book of Allah. It's not like the huruf al-muqatta. Okay, if you say this about the huruf al-muqatta, you have a salaf in this. 
if you say hamim, alif lam bim, Allahu alam what the meaning is. Mashi, that's that's acceptable because that is attributed to the salaf. But in the case of this one, what is the objective of those ayat? Seven times Allah spoke about rising over the throne. And there are five different ways where we can prove that Allah Azza is above the creation from the Quran, from things going up to him and him sending things down and, and him being above and all of these ayat, which you could go to my Aqeelah class and see. What would be the purpose behind them? What would be the pur purpose behind them then if there's another meaning or if the meaning is referred back to Allah and we don't know what they mean? Tafweed. But I'm also messing like over the throne and then we just don't know what I mean. But that's Abbas. You can't say it's that. It's not Abbas. That's according Abbas. to you, that's Abbas. You're making it Abbas. We're not making it Abbas. So let me, let me, let me just rephrase something. Right? Does Ar Rahman al Arsh have a meaning? Yes or no? Yes, it has a meaning. Okay, do we know the meaning to it? Allah knows the meaning. So we don't know the meaning. So it has a meaning, but we don't know the meaning. Yes, we don't know the meaning. So, bin nisbati lana, to us, yeah. it doesn't mean anything. It does mean something. How can, it, how can it mean something? We don't know the meaning. Whatever the morad of Allah is, we say, look, we believe in that. That's Iman. Allah told and, us that's, and, that's, and that's sufficient. But, it means something. What is it? We don't know what it means. Whatever Allah wants, it is what it is. What is what is this nonsense, man? What what are you saying? What kind of what kind of confusion are you in? That's like saying, you know, one plus one uh, equals two. Uh, but in reality, if you think about it, yeah, يعني, we're not really sure that it's equal to two. There could be another meaning behind one plus one equals two. That meaning only the mathematician know. Maybe maybe the mathematician, that's what the mathematician means. We're not sure what the mathematician means. We just accept that one plus one equals two, but there's no substance, there's no meaning behind it. It's, it's, it's really unknown. It, what is that? What is that supposed to mean? If, if this is not acceptable regarding any scientific subject or mathematical subject, how could this be applicable to the religion of Allah and the names and attributes of Allah in particular? Well, no, no. Allah from the, the, have you got a meaning from Quran? Did Allah say ma'anahu? Did the Prophet say ma'anahu? No. This is what he means. Astaghfirullah. He wants Allah to say ma'anahu and the Prophet to say ma'anahu. The fact that Allah did not say ma'anahu and the Prophet did not say ma'anahu is the evidence against you. The fact that Allah used those words, Allah used the term hand to describe himself. Allah used the term waj to describe himself. Allah used it al, al maji him coming to describe himself. And the Prophet, the Prophet Sallam described Allah as laughing and described Allah Azza wa Jal as having a face and having hands and having fingers. The fact that the Prophet Sallam described all of these to Allah and he didn't say the meaning otherwise. What then then what do you learn from that? That means that whatever they said, you're supposed to accept it as face value. You want him to tell you the meaning, the meaning is there. You are the one who's denying the apparent meaning. No, it's yes. not. It is. No, you can't say that. Honestly, I don't know how uh, you come exactly. back. This is what I'm saying to you, Muhammad. Look, me and you can stand here all day and all night yeah. because you've got alfaz, I've got alfaz, you oh. haven't got ma'ana, I haven't got ma'ana. Look at this. Yani basically, I will remain misguided forever because you will have evidences, I will have evidences, you will have a meaning, I will have a meaning, and I'm never going to submit to the truth. You understand? If, if I show you ma'ana from Bukhari, would you accept that? Right. Yeah? Is, is that okay if I bring it to you? What? You know what? Look, rather than you, I'm freezing. Listen. Now he remembered that he's wearing slippers. I mean, I, last time I checked, when you're cold, you don't go out to the budget wearing slippers without socks. You put on socks and you wear slippers. You're freezing. Now you remember that you're freezing. When he wanted to show him Bukhari and he got worried now that he, because he can, he can easily curse Imam Ibn Qayyim. He can easily curse Ibn Taymiyyah. He can easily curse Al-Albani, rahimahumullah. But he probably doesn't want to mess with Bukhari. So now as soon as Bukhari is being brought to the picture, he remembered that he's cold and he needs to run away. And he said that, that Ihsan is the one running away from the debate. The debate could have happened right then and there and ended, by the way. You're busy, you're doing nothing. You're busy doing nothing. You're busy eating halwa, ya Sheikh. You're busy eating halwa, mashallah, tabarakallah. Very soon the stove is not going to fit you if you continue with this lifestyle. You're busy. Yeah, says in Bukhari, yeah. Thumma stawa ila sama, ay, yeah. Yeah. Meaning he rose over. Yeah. That's giving a meaning to it, yeah. right? Thumma stawa ila sama. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me just read it for you. Okay. But that, that's the quote. Thumma okay. stawa ila sama. Okay, okay. 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 Thumma stawa ila sama. Okay. By the way, where were you passing by? Uh, I, I or did you specifically come? I teach you. I teach you in the uh, you know, Muhammadi Masjid. Yeah, yeah. Lamling. Yeah. 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 Uh, what is it that they from Abu Aliyah? I teach there every Tuesday. You should come down with Mulan Osman next time, oh, honestly. Inshallah. And then we can, uh, they got a big office there, we can uh, talk about you it. Tell there. him, inshallah, he knows for sure that he's not gonna go down. Alright. Uh, let me try to get it. The Bukhari, it says. Uh, That's given meaning now, isn't it? Okay, Irtafa'a literally means to rise above. Irtafa'a from Irtifa'a and Rafi'a and Rifa'a, and all of these words are derived from the root word. So now, Bukhari is being explicit about the meaning of istiwa, which the uh, Maturidis and Ash'aris deny. What? What? Yes. But is that from the Prophet? No. It's from the... La. 
يا أخي أقسم بالله. Now he wants it to be from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So earlier he was taken his aqidah from Tahawi. He's taken aqidah from the Tahawiya, and he has no problem with that. And now when it's not in his favor, he wants it to be from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells you that Allah yathak, do you believe that Allah yathak? Do you believe that Allah Azza wa Jal laughs? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told you so many things about Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala regarding His names and attributes. Do you believe in them? Do you say this from the Prophet? Ya akhi, the lying through the teeth, shameful. The Tabi'een who understood the will of the Prophet. What's your usul? The Salaf? What's your usul? The Salaf? The Salaf is not your usul. Of course it is. What's your usul? Salaf is the Salaf is not your usul. Tidiyah is not. It is. Quran and Sunnah, my brother. Quran and Sunnah and Salaf. So what's the thing? He doesn't call it the Salaf. He doesn't call it the Salaf. This is what I'm saying to you. You say you don't tajawuz of Quran and Sunnah, but then you do this. This is Quran and Sunnah and the Salaf. He's saying you don't, you don't go beyond. He's saying you claim that you don't go beyond the Quran and Sunnah, and now you're going beyond the Quran and Sunnah. Actually, look at how they're playing games. Uksum Billah, these individuals are playing games with the Deen of Allah. These are exactly like the Jews, and I'm not doing takfir on them because I'm not a takfiri. But their behavior is just like the Jews. Ittakhadu dinahum huzuan walaiban. They have taken their religion as mockery and joke. They play around with the deed of Allah and they take it as a jest and they take it as entertainment every time in his favor. Now you're telling him you go to the Quran, the Sunnah, this and that. Look, 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 look. No, but this is my problem with you. Because you go around and you say, we don't do tajawas on Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah. But the minute this topic comes up, what do you do? That's not tajawas. Yeah, yeah, that's, we've always said that though. No, I don't, I don't know how you've uh, come to the picture we don't. No, that, that's not right. It is, it is, it no, is. It's, 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 not, not, it's not right. Why it's not right? No explanation. Okay, Morana, listen, listen. What are we going to do, inshallah? Yeah. Let me get back to Morana. <laughs> Maulana, what are we going to do? Let me get back to Maulana. Everything is Maulana. And then we will beat Maulana. On the way to Maulana, there's a street called Maulana and a restaurant called Maulana next to the Maulana coffee shop. In our Maulana card, we will sit over there and have a quick Maulana's together. And they will have a nice dish of Maulana. And then a nice Maulana dessert. No, halwa maulana dessert, and then we will go back home, each one of us to his own maulana, and then the little maulanas, when they grow up, they become big maulanas, and maulana, ya maulana, hanna alena, ya jumana. Morana, you can show me about them. Don't mess with the Islam. I irtaf. That's a meaning given. That's a meaning given. Carry on giving. I'm listening. Carry on. Carry on. Meaning, meaning. No matter what you say, I'm going to stick to my principles and I'm going to reject. And unless I have Usman next to me to help me defeat you, because I have no knowledge to do it on my own, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, quote all you want. He says Allah is above the Arsh. So many, so many. More, more. Stand here. But this is it. You're not going to accept it. Third, but you don't accept it. Third, I'm waiting for your third. But you don't accept it. Though I'm listening to him. At least I can listen. When am I going to accept them? After listening to them, we want to. Mashallah, so benevolent of you to listen, even though you're not going to accept them. Zakallah khairs. Like, give me more evidence so I can reject them. I give you couples. Ya wailak min Allah. Ya wailak min Allah. In lam yaghfir lak. Can can you let me at least listen to him? Listening for the sake of listening is not listening. No, 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 no. Listening for the sake of inshallah accepting inshallah. Eh, listening for the sake of accepting inshallah. Mashallah, lying, lying, lying. He's giving you clear cut evidences and you're rejecting him. You just you're rejecting him without any 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 knowledge. You're rejecting him for the sake of rejecting him. Allah says, "Thumma stawa ala lash, fa inna hu yani ala alay." What he means is that he's high above it. You said just a few seconds ago. There's no meaning. Somebody's given a meaning. Okay, carry on. Is he wrong? Carry on. And this. What is carry on? What do you mean carry on? He's given you evidences. Deal with them, ya la. يا يا كذاب يا كذاب لي deal with them stop stop deceiving the Muslims حرام عليك you have the nerve to make videos and criticize when you don't even know how to answer a simple question you said that they don't give معنى you said they only accept the لفظ and there's no معنى there's no meaning behind it he's giving you the معنى that the علماء gave and you just say carry on this was very carry on this was very carry on I'm telling you here here's one here let me cover it for you so you can just focus so what we're gonna do so what are we gonna do inshallah yeah. No argument. But can I get a quick, quick yeah. answer for this? Yeah. No, 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 no. Why, why not? No, because I have, I haven't got mine in front of me. So I'm not just going to blindly. Uh, I don't have mine in front of me. Meaning he needs to have, he needs to have an evidence. He needs to have his books because he doesn't have enough knowledge, nor is he qualified to be addressing this particular issue. You said there's no meaning. Somebody's giving a meaning. So is he more just saying? Look, he's wrong. Whoever just accepts one aqidah from one call or two call or three call. No, this is not by the salaf. That's why I asked you. Is there any book apart from Tahawi that you read from salaf and you didn't give me any one because you make tashkik of the nisbah? How do you know Tahawi is Tahawi's book? <laughs> See, it's, it's a look, the whole ummah has accepted that. And the whole ummah has accepted that. The whole ummah has accepted that. Yeah, yeah, lying is haram. 
The whole of Max. What are we doing here then? Do you see us accepting it? You're giving me one call, two call, three call. Yeah. Nobody's ever accepted a Akida based upon one call, two call. Look, Imam Sabri. Yeah. 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 Look, even I can give you one and I can say, look, the whole salah. By the way, look, I can give you one and give it the whole salah. Because the haq as well, by the way. Yeah. The haq says, wa huwa fawq al arsh. You know what to do? How do you say Check that? my number down. Check I my number. Have you, have you got my number? Yeah, I got your number. Right. Okay. According to you, months ago, man, I can't believe you don't have to recognize my voice. Right. You said to me back then, you don't have time and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And look, Abdul Halim, yeah? He spoke to it before, but he still needs a number now. What to do is send those to me, inshallah. I'll send them to you, inshallah. Right. I'll send you the article. Right. And please, please, please give me a time right. with you and Mohan Asman. Let me get, and we can like I said to you, Mohan, I'm very busy at the moment. Yeah. No, my phone is no, okay. yeah. Let me ask Mohan, let's see what he says. Please. Again, let me ask Paulana. He's very busy. Mashallah, yeah, yeah, mashallah, mashallah. What can I say? And then we can sort of time out. Maybe a month. Give me two months. Something like that. Like I said, well, I'm very, very busy. Wallahi azim. It's not that I'm scared. No, I'm not saying scared. Yeah. A month or two months. It's not that I'm scared. The fact that he said out of the blue that he's not scared is indicative that he's scared. Because no one said that he's scared. No one told him that you're scared for him to... You know, when someone says, are you scared? You say, no, I'm not scared. But if someone doesn't tell you anything, you say, I'm not scared, is an indication that you are pretty scared. You're pretty scared, Abdul Halim. Are you shivering? Are you shaking? Are you scared? Are you afraid that you'll be confronted and you won't be able to deal with it? Is that it? Does that sound British enough? Is that how, how y'all sound? British people sound cool, by the way, but somehow their accent doesn't click with the British accent. I wish they spoke proper British. At least it would sound elegant and, uh, I don't know, fancy. They sound like, uh, I don't know. They sound just, I don't know, like low quality English language, you know? Like, you know, this is not the one that you would, not the one that entertains your ear. But when my, when he mentions my name, are you going to respond to him? He says, inshallah, look at the hypocrisy. He just said that he's too busy. He just said that he's too busy and uh, that he is, uh, uh, what should we call it? He said that he's too busy and that he doesn't have time for this. And at the same time, in the same breath, in the same breath, when it came to my video, suddenly they're going to have plenty of time to respond to me. You see the lies? You see the lies? No, 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 I can't leave that. I'm itching about that. Yeah, no, no, no. He, yeah. See, what he's done is uh, he's gone on a mocking line. We don't want to go on that line with you. No, and we don't want you to go on that line with us. No, no, I, I, I'm not aware of it, Dylan. But like, yeah. obviously, you can't yeah. say you have a mocking line. I've gone on a mocking. No, he said, I've gone on a mocking line and they don't want to take the route with him. Then they will proceed to clown him and mock him until they cannot mock him anymore. And, and my mockery is a byproduct of yours. And I've said that very clearly. I don't deny that I'm mocking, but I'm mocking to show you that your approach against the Salafis will not be left unattended and that we are just giving, uh, as Allah Azza wa Jal said, uh, and the jaza'u sayya. The, 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 the reward of an evil sin, is, of an evil deed, is an, is an evil deed like it. This is just retaliation. This is retaliatory. You are putting it, uh, you are bringing forth this nasty approach, then here. If you want to clown, we can clown. You want to mock, we can mock. But look at who started it and look who's consistent in doing it. I don't deal with everybody else like this. I'm only dealing with you halwa eating uh, monger gorillas like this. I'm not dealing with everybody else like this. So this is just a byproduct of your own transgression. So stop complaining. Oh, because I am uh, mocking, so you, you have time for me, but you don't have time for the respectful brother, huh? Go on. I can't really bring everything. But no, you have no, no, no. He's reminding him, okay, forget about Abu Musa. What about Shamsi? Yeah, it shows that you mock. That's how you mock. Also, okay. Abu okay. Okay. Me, what, what did I say? Now you will see the biggest lie in human history after the denial of the, I don't know, after the denial of the uh, atheist to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after the atheist denying Allah azza wa jal exists. Look at the lies right now. You will not believe, brothers and sisters, what you're about to see. He's going to claim that he's never mocked anyone. Listen to this with your own ears and you judge. You Diobandis. You take this as your Maulana and your teacher. You think this person is sincere and honest. By Allah, I ask you by Allah, judge. Uh, calling what? Bedouins and calling them, uh, making fun of the Arabs. And no, 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 no. We haven't made no fun of Arabs. We love Arabs, alhamdulillah. Uh, but the Arabs love... 
We've never made fun of Arabs. We love Arabs. Alhamdulillah. Ya Sheikh. Ya Sheikh. Please, brothers and sisters, go back to my other videos where I cited them and quoted them and responded to them. Please go and judge yourself if they haven't made fun of Arabs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> the brothers don't even know how to react, man. The brother's laughing because he can't believe that he's seeing someone, an old, a man, this old lying like that, like he's a little kid. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. He points out the points where you started mocking and uh, you started like. That's right. I called you out for all these mockeries. That's right. Watch this now. Speaking in a, a, in a like some racism, like in a racist tone sometimes. Like trying to put down the Arabs and trying to say he's. He's Arab and this and that and no, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I know exactly what and I've, right. and I've actually watched that. Okay, man, look, let's be let's be munsif down here. Yeah. yeah. This is what I said. Oh, I forgot the part where he was uh, he raised the finger. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll go back and show you when he pointed towards the sky. Wait. Allah is watching me. This is what I said. Oh, right there, 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 right there. Right there was there was one on the minute, the tenth minute. There was one on the fifteenth, and I, I I think this one, brothers and sisters, check this out. Check this out. And I know what you're talking about. Okay. I know Wait. exactly what I'm yeah. actually watch, 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 watch. Okay, man, look, let's be, let's be munsif down here. Yeah. yeah. This is what I said. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Brothers, Allahu Akbar. Look, brothers, look. Okay, man, look. Listen, be, brothers, look, look. Yeah. yeah. This is what I said. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allah is my witness. Ya, 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 Abdullah, Al Fitra. The dis natural disposition that Allah Azza wa Jal placed in you, the natural disposition that Allah has placed with in, in you is forcing you to point your finger to the sky when when swearing by Allah. Have you ever seen a, a more contradictory and hypocritical uh, bunch of individuals? And you know how many people have fallen to the same trap? They are actually a compilation of Ash'aris and Maturidis online. Online, all of their shuyukh and the scholars caught raising their finger towards the sky when speaking about Allah Azza wa Jal in the same breath when they deny that Allah Azza wa Jal is above the creation. They tell you that this is jihad, right? They say that there's no jihad for Allah, there's no direction for Allah. What is he doing right now? Look how Allah Azza wa Jal is showing you the signs. This is a sign for those who, for those who want to reflect. Look at the fitrah uh, kicking in. That he that what he will deny. He will deny his own fitrah, by the way, in the video. As you saw, he said, that's not an evidence. He's watching me. This is what I said. <coughs> I said, somebody might think. I was talking about Sheikh Yeah? Rahmatullah. All right. Mm. Uh, I said, uh, th that, look, somebody might think to himself that he's an Arab and he speaks Arabic and he speaks in th with Tajweed. He speak Again, he speaks with Tajweed. And, you know, he wears a shawl and he's from Saudi. He wears a shawl? They wear a shawl. They wear a shemag. Shemag. Or ghutra. A shawl. And why would he do that? Am I, am, I, am I mocking him? No, no, you're not mocking him. No, you are praising the sheikh. Would you look at this as mocking? Would you look at that as mocking? He's taken that as mocking. I swear by Allah. How, how do you say it? I swear by Allah. Brothers, brothers, sisters, think in a second. I swear by Allah. Because obviously, if I okay, say it, demeanor, okay, demeanor, okay, demeanor, 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 okay, you're Pakistani. Okay, okay, look, you're Pakistani. Okay, look, you're Pakistani. According to you, according to you, okay, look, okay, okay. According to you, your fit is different. Our fit is different. According to us, when we give three talaq to our wife, what happens? Your fit is different. Now, listen, listen. Now, according to them, if they give talaq three times, that their wife is divorced. You're completely divorced. Completely divorced, yeah. Yeah. My wife's upstairs. If my if my intention mm -hmm. out of that statement was mocking three talaq to my wife. Yeah. Allahu Akbar. This brother's willing to divorce his wife like she like he picked her up from the street, like she's a stray cat who was in the street and he picked her up and brought her home. You are willing to divorce your wife and and, and which is I, by the way this is deviance and dalal. No one no one should ever make an oath of talaq when they want to prove or disprove anything. This guy is willing to divorce his wife and if he's lying. His wife is actually divorced from him according to their fiqh because he wants to swear that he wasn't mocking the, the sheikh. You go and watch the video and you judge by yourself whether he was mocking or not. One. Uh, you'd give three to that video. Yeah. If we can prove that you were actually mocking. If my intention was mocking, not you. You don't know your intention. Ah, if my intention. Meaning he was mocking, but his intention was not to mock. Uh, but I'm telling you my intention. Okay. My intention was not mocking. My intention was praising him. Praising him. He was praising Sheikh Bir Uthaybi. They make videos where they mock all of us and they belittle all of us and now they're going to claim that those videos are all videos of praise. 
Yes, you praise Sheikh Muthaimin. The brothers, the brothers shocked and propelled. You, you praise Sheikh Muthaimin. Oh, what am I saying? Look, people look at this as a good thing, don't they? You're an Arab. You speak with Tajweed. You're from Saudi. You're an Arab. You speak with Tajweed. You're from Saudi. Oh, ya khay Allah al Azim. What is this, man? You, you know, you're, you're from that branch. Do not, do people not look at that as a praise? They look at that as a good sifa. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? So that's what I meant. That you're probably looking at all these good attributes that he's got. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. And he's saying I'm spreading racism. Mm -hmm. Okay. Forget about Sheikh bin Uthaymeen. What about you clowning Shamsi? Mocking Shamsi. Forget about the, your, the mark of Sheikh bin Uthaymeen. What about when you said that Shamsi is a Bedouin from which desert did, from which desert did he came? And that he needs uh, f speech therapy. He needs spe That's not mocking? That's not mocking yet. How? What are these people, man? I swear by Allah, my intention was. Again, I swear by Allah for the fourth, fifth time he raises his finger to the heavens and he says, I swear by Allah. I've got a question. I swear by Allah, my intention was not mocking. That's stupidity. Oh, he's, you're, you're trying to divide and you're trying to say, oh, he's Arab. That was a praiseworthy thing that I was saying. Mm. That just because it's like me saying, it's like me saying to somebody, like me to send to these guys, oh, look, Sheikh just because Allah he's got a on, and just because he's got a thawb on, and <coughs> these things that you know the meaning of those attributes. Oh. <laughs> you didn't get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let you go. Yeah, um, yeah. My question to yourself is: yeah. before you said you're not learned, khalas tayyib. You said wallahi, and you pointed up. Why did you point up when you said wallahi? Ah, <laughs> uh, busted, caught in the act, red-handed. You pointed. Listen to this. Listen to this pathetic response from this halwa eating village mullah listen to this Mullah, that's very good i'll tell you why do you point up i'll tell you why because that's the qibla that's the qibla brothers and sisters in islam i would like to introduce to you something brand new from islam that you've never heard of never knew never realized never recognized you were never taught anywhere until you met those hardcore uh, burnt out diobandis that uh, pointing to the sky is the qibla oh you're gonna say qibla but i thought we prayed in the Qibla, no, it turns out this is a different Qibla for another objective. Listen. No, 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 no. Because I, no, that's. The brother said, no, 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 no. That we're not, that's, we're not buying that one. The jawab that we well, give. Well, well, you know. He said, that's the jawab that we give. That's the answer that we give. MashaAllah, just because that's the answer that you give doesn't mean it's correct. On your heart, Allah above the arsh. That's, no, that's what I was going to say, but I left it for you. Allah Allah no, 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 no. Look, is how when a Musalli faces the Qibla. Mm -hmm. So the Qibla of Salah is the Kaaba. The Qibla of Salah is the Kaaba. You didn't do it in that essence. Right? You, you, you said Wallahi. You said Wallahi. Wallah. 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 Because that's the Qibla, isn't it? Qibla that's the Qibla of Dua. Qibla, qibla of Dua. So the Qibla of Salah, the Qibla of Salah is the Kaaba, and the Qibla of Dua is uh, pointing upwards. Why? Why would it be upwards? And then when you were making an oath, you were not making dua, you were swearing by Allah, you were making an oath by Allah. So he, he just trapped his own self, he just trapped his own self, and he just lied against everybody. He just lied to everybody, right? In front of everybody. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You're not even making dua, ya Sheikh. Allah is not dua. Allah is a qasam of, of Allah. Okay. If Same I say thing. by my friend or by my friend, I'm not point. I'm trying directly. You said no, 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 Allah, no, that's no evidence. That's no evidence. It's that's no evidence. So the Quran is no evidence. The ayat in the Quran, يَخَفُونَ رَبَّهُمْ مِنْ فَوْقِهِمْ They fear their Lord who is above them. Uh, and المعارج تعرج الملائكة The angels ascend up to Allah. إليه يصعد الكلم الطيب The goodly word goes up to Allah. سبحانه وتعالى. حلو? Then you have نزول. إِنَّ نَحْنُ نَزَّلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْقُرْآنَ تَنْزِيلًا We have sent down the Quran to you. And you have the hadith about the nuzul of Allah Azza wa Jal to the lowest heaven. Then you have the ayat that explicitly speak that Allah Azza wa Jal is above. Amin to man fi sama ayyaksifa bikum al-ard. You feel secure that He was above the heavens will cause the earth to, uh, 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 you know, taksifa. Uh, it will it will fall under you. It will collapse under you. All of these, all of these clear cut evidences from the Quran you deny. The hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The hadith of the slave girl in Sahih Muslim. The hadith in Bukhari of Zainab bin Jahsh, the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The many a hadith where the Sahaba made oath by Allah being above the seven heavens and above the throne. And the list goes on. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pointing with his finger to the heavens, making dua, looking upwards. All of these, they deny all the Quran and all the Sunnah. And now when his fitrah also kicked in, he's going to say that this is not an evidence. 
as if we are only using the fitrah as an evidence. We're only using this fitrah against you because you've already denied the Quran and the Sunnah. Why did you do it? What's with the slave girl? What's happening to the slave girl? She pointed to Sama. One more point, sorry. I know you said that. You know Kitab al Athar by Muhammad al-Hassan al-Shaybani? Yes. Is that proven from him? That's his book. I've not looked into the book. He doesn't even know the book of Athar by Shaybani. Kitab al Athar. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Written by Muhammad al-Hassan al-Shaybani. Ibn Hajar attests to it and it's printed by some Hanafis as well. It's a book that he wrote in there on top of Iman. Okay. He brings the hadith of the, the slave girl where okay. he says Allah the above. She pointed where yeah. Allah the above. Inshallah, 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 we'll discuss it. Like I said, we'll discuss it. Anytime you give him something and evidence that is clear cut he can't discuss, he will tell you we'll discuss it. We don't come across it. Look, no, there's certain things that you're going to present to me yeah. that I haven't come across. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Look, each and every single thing have you studied on this topic? No, but like if you if you, got, if you can make videos from my books, it shows that yeah. you, either you studied or you just looked at some parts and then just made a video. Like no, which no, one no, is no, it? No. Here he's going to expose himself that he actually just gets a little excerpt. He makes a reaction video and he has no idea what he's talking about. I haven't studied 100%. So can I, can I, I haven't studied 100%, have I? You haven't studied Wasitiyah, Hamawiyah and our books. They haven't, he hasn't studied Hamawiyah or Wasitiyah, huh? If Sheikh Islam Taibiyah's work, uh, among others. Really, the way we understand them. No, no, I haven't studied. Then how can no, you make videos? No. I haven't studied. Listen, look, look at the exposure. Look at the expose and the lies. Look at the the the, the self humiliation. You say that this is a mistake. That's that's. Why, why do, this is what I'm you. That's wrong. Why do, no, no, you don't need to. You don't need you to study a whole book. Yes, you do. No, you, you don't need to read a whole book to know that this part is is wrong. You don't need oh to. my day. Kalima to haqqan urida biha batil. It's a statement of truth that where falsehood is intended. No, 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 no,
ignoramus clowns that are have put themselves forward is this this is so audacious so disgusting but even if it's going in a circle it's coming back into the same point again yeah yeah if i say okay if i took a book of yeah and i don't i haven't read the start i haven't read and i picked up on page and said this is wrong is that right for me to do okay is that right for me to do you're asking me a question just listen to me all right it's not right for you to do but the fact that you just listen to me it's not right for you to do so it's okay for him to do it it's not right for others to do it i'm not saying anything right. <laughs> no, you're about to finish no okay it's not right for you to do but the fact that you did it i wouldn't sit here go away and uh, read the whole book uh, yes you would, say, you would you would you would it's not right you for you to do wow 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 i i some of these things i shouldn't even comment because all of you i'm sure most of you have your jaws dropped right now and you're like wow how could someone be like this? He said that right. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. right for you to do. So no, wait a second. Would, so it wasn't right for you to do the video. Well, right? Just listen. No. But what I would sit here yeah. is I would say, okay, this is why it's wrong. This is why it's wrong. This is why it's wrong. Cheek. I would explain to you. That's fine. Right. You admitted. Now what right God's supposed to do for me? Yeah. No. Yes. So, was so it right? when we. So let me ask a question. Was it right for you to make those videos without studying? Without studying? No, no, it wasn't. But I've done it. It wasn't right. See, Subhanallah. He said, "Was it right for you to make these videos without studying?" And so no, it wasn't. It wasn't right, but he did it anyways. No, no, I'm not ashamed to do that. Okay, I'll just take it back then. I'll just take it back. No, no, no. Just take it back. Inshallah, after you explain how they're wrong, this is when they realize that they're dealing with a clown. At that moment, everybody's thinking, "Okay, this guy is an official clown. Where is the circus?" This is a clown. Where is the circus? Why is he in the street? Why is he not putting on a clown uniform? Why is he not uh, with some balls juggling them? Why is he not doing some stunts? This clown, why is he on? Why is he discussing Islam in the first place? That's what they're realizing at that moment, and that's why Brother uh, uh, Ihsan proceeded to decline debating these two ignorant fool and Tamiz guys. I heard in the video, yeah. <laughs> Like you said, you guys are doing out of sincerity. Yeah. Part of sincerity is yeah. to be doing both sides, sides fully in front of you. Inshallah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> the brothers are having life because they can't believe that someone could be this dumb, also. So, a clown slash idiot. That's what we're going to do. So, when we come to you, Inshallah, you're going to explain to us that, look, Malana, this is why it's wrong, this is why it's wrong, this is why it's wrong. And if we accept that, and we understand that sincerely, if we understand that and we accept it, we're going to say to you, Inshallah, we're taking these videos down. Inshallah. Mashallah, Mashallah. We'll see, yeah, we'll see. Okay. I've already proven to you you're wrong about the matter of uh, uh, the Julus. And you proceeded to make a video where you put a cross next to me and claim that we got this teaching from the Bible. I have a separate video for you, inshallah, coming regarding that. We will wait. I don't want to uh, 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 burn it out from this moment. But it's clear, mashallah, tabarakallah, how much uh, uh, retaliation you have put forward and how useless uh, these claims are. And, uh, but then, uh, at the same time, you have to apologize as well because yes. you, you've yeah, misguided all of the confusion. Yes, yes, yes. Inshallah. And another yeah. thing, and another thing sorry, another thing, when you do come to us, you can't come to us the way you came to Abu Mu'ad Taqweem. That was very disrespectful. <laughs> now they're going to deal with uh, something that I don't want to get involved in. So they did something to this guy, Abu Mu'ad, and they're going to go back and forth, talk a bunch of... It's just his history between them that is not none of my business. I don't want to waste your time with it. I'm just going to fast forward to something beneficial if there's anything left. Both he, was he said, "Come next week." When, when next week came, you and your uh, right, other no, so I'm talking. I'm still talking about the first one, uh -huh. right? So nobody knows what happened there. You were there, I went there. So you can't call it bi'adab. I can't call it bi'adab. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Right. Let's move on to now the second right, one. Okay. You're saying it. that we just went up there, but we didn't just go up there because he called us. We if you care, you could watch the video on your own. Spoke to him very. No, he, he was saying not that references. We agreed references. So he was giving him the reference. No, no. Be adab, be adab means disrespect. Brother, when the car spoke to you, because he knows what to do. He wants to sit down. He wants to talk about other issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, how you use it? Okay, I'm a yeah. So it is how you know our different. So he's a talibul He hasn't right. graduated, but he's he's read the books and stuff. And he just wants to ask like, is this shit for us? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Take him over. Take him. Yeah, he's the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Listen to this. One will be with me, Masat, and you and Malan Osman. Yeah, inshallah. And then the second one, you know, the brother who in the car who spoke to you, because he knows what to do. He wants to sit down and he wants to talk about other issues regarding the car. So you and Osman, and I'm going to bring some. Look what he says. Some of the books have shit. I'm really random because I don't know what He's a scholar. Is he a scholar? He said he's a talib. He's a student of knowledge. No, then bring him a scholar. No, bring a scholar. Who are you for? Which scholar will come to you, Aslan? And you're not even a, not even shibh tuwail bilm. You're not even the, you don't even resemble the smallest student of knowledge. You want a scholar to come and waste his time with you? 
The fact that Brother Ihsan is speaking to you actually is, uh, is more than you deserve and more than you're entitled to. He has the nerve to place conditions that has to be a scholar. But he's not a scholar. You agree to sit with the pimp? A scholar. They're telling him even Ihsan is not a scholar. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a scholar. Do you class yourself as a scholar? No, no, what I mean by scholar, you know what we use scholar, we use it loosely. I think somebody just graduated. When we use scholar, we use it loosely. MashaAllah. Yeah, they have their own standards of college scholarship as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, how you use it? Okay, I'm a talib. Yeah. yeah. So it is how, you know, our different things. So he's, he's a talib. Yeah, yeah, MashaAllah. He hasn't graduated, but he's, he's right. Everything they claim is just because the difference of everything is based on the difference in, in our understanding. So you have an Islam, we have an Islam. You have a love, we have a love. You have a ma'ana, we have a ma'ana. You have usages of words, we have usages. As though we have two different religions, as though the Quran and the Sunnah don't bring us together, as if the Quran and the Sunnah don't unite us together, as if the Quran and the Sunnah are, are of no, no, no reference and no use for us. I don't understand these people. Brothers and sisters, you have seen and heard with your own eyes the audacity and the level of insanity that these individuals are involved in. I advise all my brothers who follow the Diobandis and they follow these individuals in particular to fear Allah Azza wa Jal and to repent to Him and to go back to the Quran and the Sunnah according to the understanding of the Sahaba and the early generations so that you could earn and attain your own salvation on Yawm Al Qiyamah. اللهم لا تؤخذنا بما فعل السفهاء منا واغفر لنا وارحمنا إنك أنت الغفور الرحيم يا رب Ya Rabb, and I believe Allah Azza wa Jal is above, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Forgive us and guide us and have mercy on us. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka. Tubu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.